morning and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is uh, Richard, uh, aka Sofa Warrior. Today, um, just going to be dealing with a little bit of rust around the battery area or on the car. I'm also going to be trying out some new camera equipment, so uh, forgive me if uh, it goes a little bit awry, but uh, hopefully I'm going to try and give you a little bit more of a constant overview of things that are actually being done. So uh, bear with us and uh, enjoy the journey and Let's have a look at our rusty battery tray. Okay, so once we've removed the battery, what we've got, a number of 13 mil bolts that actually hold this tray onto a set of brackets. We need to undo that so we can re release the tray and uh, then we can dress this tray, make sure that we don't have a rusty panel moving forward. So we can see, um, you can see here that it's been exposed to, um, well, the acid elements of the battery area for the whole of its life for 20 years has taken its toll on here. Fortunately, it's complete. So um, from my point of view, it's literally it's a de-rusting and um, we'll give it a coat of a rubberized paint to give it some form of uh, additional protection on top of the primer and then a top coat as well. Um, so hopefully that all uh, will offer some form of protection for that moving forward. So I've used an angle grinder uh, with a uh, wire cup just basically to de-rust this as much as I can before I hit it with an angle grinder um, and a dremel just to get into the, the, the harder to get places. So um, the longer we spend on this the better and it will obviously make it a lot more serviceable but you know in the ideal world we maybe would have replaced this but I don't have the money and I do have the time so let's carry on. Okay, so uh, de-rusted both sides. I'm just going to finish it up with some sandpaper and then put a coat of primer over the top. And, uh, and then we'll wait for that to dry before we put some rubber sealer over the top of it. Yeah, now we've got uh, a light coat of etch primer, which is an acid etching primer on, on it. Um, just basically to give it some sort of uh, adhesion. Um, I found that there's a little bit of something I'm not happy with here, so I've just given that another little light coat, I'll give that a little, another coat of primer and uh, we should be good to put the plastic coating on. What we can also see is underneath where the tray was, we've got a certain amount of rust down here. Now, there's no point in doing the top piece if you're leaving this, so we've got a treat here too. So we'll give this a good old uh, rubbing up with a drop of um, sandpaper and a uh, and a flattened disc and what I'm going to do here down here because uh, this really needs to be protected I'm going to give this a nice thick coat of hammerite so I've also got a little bit of rust down this leading edge and while I'm waiting for my other panels to cure um, I'm going to just uh, tackle these bits of rust around these bits here so I've machined this all back we've uh, flattened it all up I'm just going to wash it down and give it a coat of paint. So following a coat of uh, primer, we've uh, now given it a base coat all the way up. You can see we've got rid of all the scabbiness. That looks quite tidy. So we'll open up the bonnet, that'll look quite nice. Just got to wait for that to cure, then we'll put a nice coat of thick lacquer over the top. So here's the battery tray. This is the underside. I've given it a thick coat of hammerite. Uh, that's over the top of a, a coat of Gravlex, um, you know, sort of anti-stone chip. So a bit of rugged protection there to try and protect the, uh, the area. Um, but that looks quite nice and glossy and uh, well protected, so I'm happy with that. Just wait for that to cure off. Now I know I said I was going to give this a coat of hammerite, but um, in fairness I thought, well no sod it, why don't I just give it a coat of the top coat, I've got it in my hand. So. Um, I've given it a little coat of Gravlex, so let's just give it a little bit of uh, rubberized protection underneath the paint. Um, and then I've uh, applied the, top, uh, well, the the base coat to it, and uh, hopefully I'll just bring it up a little bit. I'll uh, just wait for that to cure off and put some top coat on. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. We've got a nicely uh, finished and painted battery tray area. Uh, hopefully it'll be good for another 20 years. Looks very presentable, no scabby flaky rust. That's obviously is half the battle with these cars, is keeping the rust away. Um, all the wing edge is all nice, that's all done. Just got to put the rubbers back in. And I'm waiting for the uh, tray to actually dry out. 
Um, I've given it another coat, well, coat on the inside this time. So there it is, it's all drying out. Once that's actually cured off in a couple of hours, I'll put it back on. So the battery is back in now and down here, you can see the, the uh, retaining bracket has been renewed. I put a new bolt on or a new nut on there as well. That uh, gives it a, a bit fresher appearance. All the way down the side here, where that was all rusty, that's all now been taken care of. Battery's in place, it's all nice and secure. No, I know nobody actually saw this, so, but from a, um, a, a user point of view, from a user point of view, it's really about maintenance of this car. Um, from day one, I've been fighting the rust on it, so uh, dealing with um, you know, rust spots when we see them, uh, what we're doing is we're obviously trying to stem the tide of the dreaded holes in the car. And that would have been an MOT failure somewhere down the line if we hadn't uh, cleaned all that rust off. We wouldn't have had a secure battery and that's an MOT failure. Uh, let alone the chassis leg, when that started to rust, um, we're going to end up with an awful lot of welding there. So a um, little bit of work today has uh, kept me busy, kept me out of the wife's way. And... Um, I'm quite confident and uh, what I've got is, is the best of my ability, so uh, uh, onwards and upwards. So you know the way that it works, if you like what you see um, and you appreciate my, my efforts, I need a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to subscribe, I need you to press the subscribe button down below. Um, if you press the notification bell or the bell icon as well, you'll get a little email every time that I put a uh, new video out, which is about once a week. Um, if there's anything that you uh, want me to have a look at or, or try and explore for you, feel free to drop us a message. If you've got any feedback for yourself for the work that I've done, then feel free to put a comment in there. Um, I love the feedback, I, I love the interaction, I love the subscribing, and um, I love the views. We've got over a thousand, uh, sorry, a thousand, I wish. We've got uh, over a hundred subscribers so far and 5,000 views. So I thank you all for that and sticking by me, and uh, I look forward to doing an awful lot more for you. Speak soon. Bye-bye.